here's a quick walkthrough of my US General 5 drawer tool cart. It's just an add on to this one, US General 4 drawer. Don't mind that husky. Top, got some snap on picks, some high vis. Used them once. I tend to use them just for uh, O rings on oil bolts. Set of Carlisle's. Hardly use them. You can tell which one gets used the most. There's a pry bar, right? These Carlisle's have a good grip on them. I like them. They feel good. Some Titan picks. Um, they're good. I've used them a couple times. I've snapped one. Go right into the local O'Reilly's and they swap it right out, no questions asked. Spark plugs, some gear wrench. Um, I think this is an Icon. Uh, it's a Pittsburgh 1516, it's in a 5.8 Duralast. Had this one the longest. I feel like I can trust this one. Um, it's good. I use it. Coast. Some step ups, step downs, swivels. Quarter inch. 3 8 Torx. Again, I work on Harley. That's what I have, an electric line. Uh, so 3 8 half inch quarter. T27 is why I like this one. I don't think you need a 27, at least for what I do, and a 3 8 So I like it to be in the quarter. Of course, your hex, 3 8 And then I have a quarter. Uh, that's a separate one. I think that might be a a gear wrench one. These here are Duralast from your AutoZone. All of these are, are gear wrench. Gear wrench, quarters, metric, a uh, few uh, cobalt to fill in. Pretty good. Don't really get down that small of a size. <clears throat> Same thing, SAE. And they're all sitting on these so uh, Hanson socket trays. I haven't broken one, um, so no problems. Got that coast. Pretty, pretty bright. I like it for what I've used. Dropped it a hundred times. Still works. It's double A. It's not rechargeable. Got some 3 8 gear wrench. Full set. Shorts. Talls. And then the talls, I have a couple Quinn, which just to fill in those missing ones. Um, the fluting is good, chrome's good. I've had these for a while, I haven't used them much, but they're still hanging on. Recently, I got these Gear Wrench 3 8 impacts, they're usually like 80 bucks. They are chrome molly. I got them on sale for about 45 bucks. Can't beat that. And it came with a 3 8 metric and 3 8 standard. Um, but up here I have a couple, I have a few Max just to fill in from an older set. Max. And this is a snap on. Yeah. Until it gets used. But these I haven't gotten the chance to use, hoping to use them. Um, I just work out of the house, nothing major. I work on my Harley and um, my truck, the wife's truck. Anybody else who needs a hand. These are 3 8 These are some Craftsman. SAE. But just to fill in my Max, to finish off my Max set that I have here. It's pretty good. Just had it. It's an old one. Um, mostly use the 5 8s a lot for the drain plugs on oil changes. Short. Use this one. Fluting is good, has a good grip, good bite on it. Can't complain. Um, over here, we got some Craftsman Flathead. This is an old one made in USA. Where is it at? There it is. 
Um, recently took and uh, warrantied out my Snap-on. I had a flat or a Phillips. It was an old set. It was like this one here. But, uh, it was this style, the old school style ones. Snap-on. Pretty cool. Warrantied it out. Couple knives. Got this knife off of uh, a local retail shop here for five bucks. Snap on, you can't beat it. Um, got a Mac. Use this more for a pry bar, more than anything. So it has a little bit of worn chips and things and stuff on it. A couple Hyper Tough Walmart special, but they are made in USA and it has a striking cap. My local Sears here closed a while back. Um, and I told myself I was gonna get the um, the Craftsman ones before it did, but I completely forgot about it and the place closed down and I never was able to get them. Cabinet screwdriver, very last. Never had to use it, but I like that it has a magnetic tip. So whenever these can't reach, um, tend to use that. This is a US General box. I just put the um, Harley Davidson you know, stickers on here and took off the sliders and blacked them out. Um, but that's it for the top box. Um, up here, of course, you know, I got my Impacts 6 inch, 3 inch. Uh, these are Husky. I've used them, I use the 3 8 it's pretty good. Um, with the magnet holder, most important tool in the toolbox. Um, it's the cat. Rechargeable light, 600 lumens, super bright. Um, I like it, I've used it. I've used it well. Let's see what else we got. On this first one here, got some uh, Milwaukee safety glasses. Um, I got this icon because I just wanted to try it. It does sound good if you can hear it. It's good. I've used it. I like it. No complaints. Got my Mac 3 8 So no 30 tooth. Still sounds good. No complaints on this one. <clears throat> The oldest ratchet set that I have, it came with a half, three eighths, which is this one, and a quarter, um, 84 tooth. Still crunchy. You can't complain. Love it. Um, got a snap on quick release. I recently traded in an old one for. Got this one for about 60 bucks after the trade in. Another Mac, hard handle. I can't see where you can get this model number. There it is. XR8P8, made in USA. You can kind of see it there. It's a Mac. Same thing, still works, still trucking. Down here, I got my quarter inch snap on, comfort grip, orange. My 88 tooth, 82, 78 tooth. Um, gear wrench, haven't used it, but you know, this is a 90 tooth, and the teeth count on this, you can hear it. Sounds good for a 90 tooth, but when you compare it to this one with a lesser tooth count, I mean, it's just. I don't know, I guess that's where the difference is at in, in, in what you're paying for. You know, I like them. I haven't used the gear wrench, like I said, and this is my Carlisle. It's a short quarter. Um, and this one, it's, it's way smoother than this gear wrench, that's for sure. Let's see if you can hear this. Yeah, so that's that. 
Um, down here I just have a, an extension, gear wrench, 3 8 just kind of what I use the most. There's a snap-on extension. I have a SK USA one, 3 8 and then um, for my quarters, I just have two. Uh, they're both husky. I mean, I think you can get by with that. You're not really torquing anything down to the death when it comes to a quarter. Um, I do have more extensions, of course. Craftsman. Um, what is this? Ooh, lost my track. Um, you know, you guys know what that is. <laughs> Cornwell, a uh, bit driver set. Uh, made USA Cornwell. Um, this one was given to me. Uh, but I still use it. Uh, let me see if I can find a good one here. All the bits, they just need to be cleaned off, but they are all made in USA. You can kind of read that. But um, no complaints on this one. I've used it once or twice. try dipping these in vinegar overnight to see if it kind of cleans it off and oil it down. But yeah, more, more extensions. Got some, uh, that Gear Wrench 3 8 uh, impact set came with this one. It was a 48 piece. It came in a case, but of course I don't need the case. It came with this one here. And it also came with, uh, Ooh, that one there, that swivel. But, um, empty with room to grow. I've only had this box for maybe less than a month than a month. Um, just a lighter, just a leatherman. Tend to use it for the can opener. Uh, these are all channel lock made in USA. I um, haven't used this one yet. Got some side cutters. Of course your jaw clamps or your jaw or uh, slip joints. I've had this one for a long, long time. <clears throat> can't recall how I got it. It is a crescent. You can't really see it unless it's in the right light. Um, but yeah. I like that function on, on pliers to have that, I guess, spring load or retention or, you know. I never bother to clean my, uh, my tools. I would leave them. Until uh, I started looking into, you know, videos, toolbox tours. Here's a Mac Tools one. It's an old one. It still works. The in and out. There's a two. It's an old screw one. Screw lockdown. Um, Coon Trucking. I'm sure some of you guys have seen his videos. He wipes his down with Tubbo towels. I haven't found any here locally at my depots or Lowe's or anything like that. But I did find these Miracle Wipes at Lowe's and man they they work they work but these were they were I mean full of you name it oil and gunk and you know just throwing them around and I said you know what let me give that thing a shot and sure enough it cleaned up very well just oiled it down with some uh, some gun cleaner um, with some hopes or hobbies whichever way and uh, yeah, same thing for this one. I cleaned it down. You can still see some some old caked on gunk, but hey, for what it what it looked like, you wouldn't you could barely read the Mac tools and anything else. But yeah, it cleaned it well. Um, some crescent. These are spring loaded. I just have them on here, like so. They pop back out on their own. Um, So this is my first YouTube video. I don't know if you can tell. Hopefully I'm holding the phone right. Maybe next time I'll do it over again if I got to. Um, diagonal cutters. Same thing, Crescent. It was a two-pack from the local uh, Home Depot. And these are um, uh, just little pliers. This one here is my Milwaukee. This is a six-inch, I want to say. Yeah, it's a six-inch. Man, I, I love it. it. Has the reamer up top, 
for knockouts. I've used it, it works. The only complaint is that ever so often this grip on this side from when you're yanking on something, it'll begin to slide out. Um, I took it to Home Depot, tried to warranty it. Of course they said no, Husky only, so that's that. Uh, um, I guess I had to make contact with Milwaukee. No big deal. I mean, they're still good. No complaints. That's the only downfall. These here, again, I don't, I don't really like that feature, so I don't use these a lot, as you can tell. Um, but there also has a ream option on there to remount things. Um, that's why I tend to use these channel locks. They're just a little bit more, you know, just a little bit easier to maneuver around. With. I use these, like them, love them. Made in USA. You gotta have some blue and red in your toolbox. Um, these here, I just got these soft wire. They are made in USA. These just came out this year, uh, 2020, if you're watching. Um, I haven't used them. Again, I tend to like the spring load option. These, uh, you can remove that little spring big deal but um they call this their red white and blue for obvious reasons um, but we'll see i replaced i've used these i haven't used these but in the past i would use yeah, these here i got these at my sears before they closed off again spring option and to tell you the truth these feel a little bit more more stout if that's a word they feel a little bit more stout um, so I used these for a good while. Love them. They work great. Then I got these here. Soft wire ones. These still feel good. Um, although these here are soft wire, they just don't feel the same. I mean, some, I don't know. I, I, again, I haven't used them, so I can't give a... The verdict still isn't out on these. But, you know, for what it is. Um, slip joints, Duralast. Lifetime warranty, guaranteed for life, you can't complain. I haven't used them, because again, I tend to go back to the Milwaukee. Cobalt, some vice grip brands, um, vice grips, and some more, um, Irwin, I'm sorry, Irwin vice grips, Irwin brand. Haven't had to use those yet, and those vice grips in the back. Um, some brushes, your local, I'm afraid the specials, they weren't good, but where they are, they're just brushes. I better spend a ton of money on them. Um, and you know, now that that just happened, I, I had to remove the, the bumpers, I guess if you want to call them, because they weren't closing right, and it was just this one, this top one here that wasn't closing right. Um, so I removed the bumpers, I still have them. Um, let's see if I can find them up here, so I can show you. So these are at the end of the rails. I guess I could have easily trimmed them down with the Dremel, but um, I just removed them. This cart, um, it's stationary, you know, where it sits. It sits here on my wall. It's stationary, it's on the other side of my, my Harley. Um, so it doesn't really get moved a lot, you know. It's parked here, it's my little wall here. I'll get to that later. Um, but yeah, only when ever so often when I do move it, it does have like a slight little, you know, wiggle to it. But because I moved the bumpers. But when it wasn't, it was nice and stiff. Um, I got these little bumpers here. Definitely don't want it to hit this. Um, so just for a little added protection. Um, moving on. Got a set of Mac SAEs from 7 eighths all the way down to a quarter, but they cheat because I don't know how, but it's, of course things go missing. I do have a snap-on to fill in for the 7 sixteenths, and I have another snap-on to fill in for the 5 sixteenths. So um, I have them like that to remind myself to, to get on the truck or we'll go online and order the replacement. Just haven't got a chance to it. Gear inch stubby. Metric. I like them. I've used them. I've had these for about two years. They're still holding on strong. Came in a set. I think everybody has these. Uh, the 
The other ones, of course, are over here along with everything else. We'll get to that one maybe another day. But then, of course, the metric from 20 all the way down to, I believe, it's an 8. Yeah, down to an 8. So, symmetric set. These are Hanson trays. Again, I got them at the local O'Reilly's here. Um, I love them. They're better than the Craftsman ones that they have at Lowe's. Um, again, I'm a DIYer. I don't need, you know, tool truck stuff for everything. Um, for my truck, I've used this a little bit more, which is why I haven't used this one as much. But I do want to do it. I want to give it a try and see what it's like. Um, in the past, I've used the, uh, I don't even know if it was Mac or not. Or it might have been. Um, let me pull it out real quick. This one here is from Harbor Freight. I've used it, it's pretty good. And this one here, uh, they gave me this one. Uh, no, it can't be Mac, it's made in China. At least to my knowledge. Um, but yeah, no complaints on this one. This one kind of has a little bit of a offset and this one here is flat. So that's the difference on those. And then of course I went to, to the socket oil wrench socket and then you know, I'll try that one eventually uh, but this one here is for my bike it does all different this is from Harley Davidson um, put a ratchet for the put a ratchet on there and there's just no easy way to, uh, to do a clean job down there when you're doing your oil change um, it's just gonna get dirty they sell all types of funnels and different stuff like that but I feel it's a little gimmicky you no know, need to have all that it's gonna get dirty. Spray it down with some brake cleaner and you're good to go. Uh, I recently picked this one up. It's a Matco quarter inch um, bit driver, I wanna say. Here's all the different bits. One thing I wish it did have is a, a T27, because that's what you tend to use on these. You know, these are T27, the air cleaner over here on this side. Um, so on and so on. So I just wish I had it, but no big deal because I still have it in the sockets here. And then of course, big drivers and all this. But uh, I haven't gotten to use this. I just picked this up a couple days ago. It's from Matco. It um, feels good. A little ratcheting. This little top part here is metal. It is reversible. So I'll give it a try. Just something cool to have, you never know. Same thing as this Craftsman here. I've had this, I want to say, for a while. I've never used it. Um, same thing, it's reversible. Same thing, this uh, ratchet thing is uh, metal. I picked this up at Lowe's a while back. Can't complain. And then, of course, your um, battery terminal tool, Cobalt Lowe's. Never had to use it. Um, so, it is what it is. Next drawer down. I haven't figured this one out just yet. Um, these are the 12 volt lines of uh, Dewalt. Um, I've used it. I love it. Used it mainly around the house. Uh, polished some wheels with it. Um, different stuff like that. Comes with two little 3 amp batteries. Here's the impact. Um, I, I like this one. Super lightweight, super small. For my hands, it fits good. Um, and these LEDs. I think that's major um, for it. Three settings, low, medium, high, and then um, the screw. Once it fills it bottoms out, it kind of just kills it. Um, battery reader. I've used it. I use it with those uh, extensions. And then this cobalt one. Three, or I'm sorry, half inch, 24 volt. Got a couple batteries for that as well. It is brushless. Um, I recently traded this one in. I took in my old one to warranty. I was doing um, a hood job that had to require removing the tire on the front driver's side. Uh, it wasn't spinning, it wasn't spinning. The, uh, the actual lug nut itself just was, I don't know, it was just struggling. Um, 
and I figured, man, something's gotta be wrong with it. So I grabbed the anvil, I pulled the trigger and they wouldn't even spin out of my hand. I was just holding it. Took it to uh, Lowe's for the warranty. Um, I had my receipt. I had it literally for one year and one day. It has a five year on the tool and three year on the battery. Um, and man, they gave me a little bit of hassle. I guess Cobalt is switching, or Lowe's is switching away from Cobalt which I had to call a 1-800 number, I had to call another 800 number to a manufacturer somewhere in China. And you know, these days with the whole coronavirus, everything is kind of at a standstill. So it made it hard, but the next morning I went in, I was there for like 45 minutes trying to figure it out with these people um, at Lowe's, phone calls and holds and everything. Um, I went in the next morning, the manager was there. They said, you know what, just grab another one and swap it out, tool for tool. Um, I wish I saw him the night before, but it is what it is, I guess, you know, one of those things, but that might be the last cobalt drill that I might buy, just for the warranty purposes, you know, they might start phasing out cobalt, I don't know, I don't work there. The Milwaukee M12, I have two batteries, I do have a, a drill in there, um, I'll get to this bigger toolbox at another day, this video is getting kind of long. Um, U.S. General um, paper towel holder, and then of course a couple cans, um, brake cleaner, mass airflow, throttle body, multi-purpose. This fast orange, I use it. I love it. It works good for me. Silicone, spray the garage doors down, wipes doors. You know, I like think about it whenever they get home, and just quick spray down every other month. Not that it's really needed, but might be overkill, but it still works. Canyon cleaner for my truck, for my bike. Um, that's what I use. Down here I have um, just your regular antifreeze, windshield wiper, brush, dirty towels. I got some funnels here, airline. Um, and down here I have it way back there. It's um, for the differential. I have a Z71, it's 4x4. The differential cover, or I'm sorry, the differential oil uh, to refill, of course. I'm sure some of you guys have done that already. It's kind of a pain. You can't really get under there, so you got to turn the wheel, turn the can upside down, squeeze it, and it makes a big mess. But that one helps. It's like a pump. And down here I have some, um, there's that old pump down there. And down there I have an uh, old uh, can cover. The timer cover or um, derby cover sorry for the harley that i took off recently replaced that one there um over here you got a flashlight for old harbor freight um catch all magnetic i like it no complaints but i do want to get on the tow truck and um get one of the matco the three-piece plastic trays i guess i think that's what they are um, but again, I'm a DIY guy. I don't work at a dealership. Sometimes it's hard to chase these guys down, whether it's Snap-on or Matco. Um, I wish a Mac guy was locally um, around me. Uh, he's about 45 minutes away. Um, I do have some more Mac over here. I got the, the bigger half-inch sockets. Um, SAE, of course. I have a set down. Um, but that's that's it for this toolbox tour. Um, that's what I have. It's still growing. Come out here and mess with this all the time. Never satisfied with it. But that's what um, that's what I have. Some of the things that is next on my list to get, for me at least, is um, well, some some spark plugs. I'm I'm, I'm thinking either a spark plug socket five eighths because that's what I use nine times out of ten. Either a snap on, a Mac or a Mac coat. Depends which one I want to pull the trigger on next time I'm on there. They're like 60 bucks, I think, give or take 10, 15 on each truck. But um, for until then, I'm still using this one. I like it. It's my old, my old trust one. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, screwdrivers. Um, I really love these Carlisle ones. I don't really see a need to uh, to swap out. They are magnetic tip, um, magnetic tips, um, diamond, I don't know what else on here, but um, yeah, they're good. 
It also has the extra hex here in case you need to get some torque on there. Um, but maybe some snap-ons. Um, I have a wish list on my phone with pictures, of course, <laughs> to uh, see what comes up next. But that's, uh, that's what I got. Let me know what you guys think, and until uh, the next video, maybe I'll do a review on this one and you know see what else is on there. All right, guys, take it easy.